Today, we're gonna to be installing the vent kit in our Airstream. One of the things about Airstreams of the vintage that ours is, is that it has ducted vents for the air conditioner units and for the heat pumps, and that's great. And then they have these little intake vents right here that are for the filters and all. And then they have four sheet metal screws right there that kind of hold these things in. Well, the problem is you need to use a screwdriver to take these out. It's four of them, they're four little screws, easy to lose. So Norlox has come up with their vent kit to make it much easier. Then it's just a little thumb screw that comes out. You can easily clean the filters or even put in different filters to ensure that your air is clean in your Airstream. So today, we're gonna to be taking this off. We're gonna be using everything that comes in the Nolox kit to install their vent kit in our 50 amp Airstream. These vent kits by Nolox, they know what they're doing on this. They're Airstream owners themselves. They're Airstreamers. And so they're making products and different products to help enhance all of our lives for all of us that live in or enjoy life in. Airstream travel trailers. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna have to take these vents off. And because we're not gonna be reusing these screws and I'm not too concerned about the potential of stripping out the screw thread in the ceiling of the Airstream, I'm gonna go ahead and use a power driver just to make it a little easier on ourselves. So we are just gonna back these out of there just like this. need to take these down periodically because look that's pretty pretty dirty and nasty in there so this way we'll be able to clean these filters or change them out for a better filter very easily the heart of the kit are these jack nuts that are going to be installed in these holes and are going to be flush with the ceiling right there and then there'll be these knurled thumb screws that are just gonna fit right into that and that'll tighten it up and that's what'll hold the filter on. Then we simply use our fingers, no screwdrivers, no power screwdrivers, to pull these out so that we can clean our filter or replace our filter. But this definitely is bigger around than the hole that's right there, so we're gonna have to drill that hole out larger for this to work. And you can't just use a regular drill bit for this to work, you need a step bit to get the exact size that you need. And the no locks kit comes complete with one of these step bits. So let's get moving on this and get these holes drilled out. As we drill these holes, of course, the aluminum is gonna start coming out of here because we're drilling some of that out. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use a paper plate, put the bit through, before chucking it into our drill. And that'll help keep all those little aluminum shavings from getting all over the inside of the Airstream. So let's get that mounted on there like this. We'll tighten this up. And again, that paper plate is simply gonna help catch those aluminum filings as we drill these out. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna drill eight of these holes bigger. And it's the second step in there, which is the uh, 5 sixteenths hole. And that's gonna be the perfect size for these jack nuts to go in. time we're going to install the jack nuts into the new holes that we've just drilled or the enlarged holes that we just drilled and again the kit comes with this jack nut gun and everything that you need now i'm going to install one and then we're going to talk about some tips on how to make this work a little better but i'll just show you how this works we just push this up in the jack nut goes right in there and then it's a two-step process pull once twice 
pushing all the way there. And then release this so we can get it out. And now we have our nut installed up in there that'll be the receiver for the knurled machine screw to hold the filters in and again, make them easy to take out. So then this is just gonna screw right into there and we'll never need a screwdriver again to change these filters, clean them or whatever I need to do. But let's show you a couple little things about how this works and some tips to make it a little easier for you. So this is the jack nut and we're gonna use a machine screw and a washer so this whole operation works best. And then Michelle, I'll have you step a little closer and see what's going on. We're just gonna thread this machine screw into the threaded part of that jack nut just a little bit. So we go into there like this and then see, so I have a washer and then there's our jack nut. So then we're gonna use the, whatever this thing is called, this tool. And the washer goes on the inside of this and the jack nut goes on the outside of, there's a, all like a little slot almost right there. So we can see that and how that goes right in there. Then if we hold this a little bit so it won't spin, then I just turn this so it tightens up a little bit. So everything is just kind of nice and snug. Then we're gonna insert this into the hole that we've made, that larger hole, and then do a couple pulls on our jacknut gun, or it's almost like a rivet tool, so that that'll firm everything up. Now, one of the things that I learned, there's like three of these legs that are gonna splay out in there, and that's what holds this all together. But I wanna have the gap towards this edge. If I have it this way, where one of these legs are, the leg is actually gonna stick out into this hole a little bit. So if I turn it so the gap is right there, that won't happen. So we're gonna pull this, make sure all released. We pull it and you can see those start to flatten out right there and again. And so we're all nice and flat. And then we hit the release lever and that lets us pull this off. Then we pull that machine screw out. And the only thing we need this machine screw for is so we can put the pressure on so this thing flattens out and those are gonna be in there permanently. Last one? This is the last one. You know, Airstream does a really good job in making their travel trailers and making everything really convenient. Why this isn't standard on Airstreams is kind of beyond me, but um, this really, if you're out enjoying nature and camping or spending time with the family, the last thing you need to do is have extra time being spent on maintenance. So this one time job is gonna save us a lot of time in the future. And make our AC units work more efficiently too, because we're gonna be, it's gonna make it a lot easier to change out the filters or clean the filters on these. It's gonna be really nice. So now what we do, I'm gonna leave the filthy filter off for a minute. Ooh, the screen is disgusting too. These are just gonna set right here like this. And instead, these are just gonna go right up into those jack nuts we just installed. Look at that. No more screwdrivers, no more tools. These screws just come right out of here and then you just take this right down. Easy peasy. So these are the filters, the filthy filter, that Airstream supplies, and they're just super thin. There really isn't any kind of filtering going on to these. But there's another company that makes products for Airstreams. They're an Airstreamer as well. And so they know the kind of things that we need, and that is Riveted Market. And they've made these little brackets that fit in and put a much more efficient and much better air filter system than these little paper kind of filters that come with the Airstream. These things are custom made and designed 
to fit directly around these housings. And then they come with a charcoal filter or a carbon filter, I should say, and then a MERV-8 filter as well that is gonna make the air much cleaner inside our Airstream. And there'll be less dust going into the air conditioning units as well. So it'll help expand their life. But look at these, these things are genius. So they fit right together like this and you can put the filters in. And what they've done is they've done this with magnets. So it lines up perfectly, super easy to open up, put the filters in, and then you cannot misalign that because of how the magnets hold that together. Absolutely genius. So let's start opening up our filters and put these in. And to me, this is a terrific one-two punch on how these, you know, to, to make everything really nice and clean in our Airstream. So here's our carbon filter. So let's open up this. It looks like that needs to go in first. And also, the way he's designed these, there's these little slots where these go in. You cannot install these wrong. So this carbon filter is just gonna slide right in there. And then our paper filter, the side is down and it's very clearly marked which way the airflow goes. See right there? So this airflow goes that way. So then this slides right into here, just like this. The other half, it's just gonna snap together. We just align these so they all fit right there. Everything goes together and snap. That's There's great. our whole unit right there. <laughs> and again, we've got it all set. This side is down. So just to verify, our airflow is going up that way. It fits right onto this and it's designed where it fits in and locks right in just perfectly. Now we're gonna push this up into here using our little brand new thumb screws we've got installed. These just go right in there. Now we've got a better filter system installed. Easy to get to and change. And uh, what a brilliant pairing of products to make our Airstream life even better and easier. Just like that. I really need to thank not only rivetedmarket.com for these filters, but Rick and Lisa from The Right Life. And if you haven't seen their videos or their channel, I'm gonna put a link to it right. In fact, I'll put a QR code right here so you can go directly to their channel if you're watching on a TV. Riveted Market sent these filters to Rick and Lisa, but they didn't fit on their model of Airstream. And Rick reached out to me and I said, you know, they'll fit ours. So he very graciously gave me these filter sets so we could install them in our Airstream. Hey Jim, how you doing? Hey Rick, what's up? Hey, not much. I got this package in the mail the other day wow. from a company called Riveted Market. They wanted me to try out some of their products. Uh -huh. This one here is a filtration system uh, for your air conditioning unit. And our rig, it, it just won't work. I'd have to do some significant modifications. Um, so I wanted to see if you would be willing to test it out and review it on your channel. I think a lot of your viewers and our viewers as well would be interested in your thoughts on that product. And hopefully uh, you guys can use these products and it works out well for you. Yeah, I'm really, really looking forward to testing these out. So air quality is a big thing with us. Yeah, absolutely. So guys, if you like this uh, video, just uh, consider subscribing to the channel. Also give us a thumbs up, it really helps us out. And if we don't hear from you, hopefully we'll see you down the road. Thanks so much, Rick and Lisa.